Okay, so there's been a few developments since last Friday. Um, here we go. Made contracts. They're very interesting. Um, action markers. Um, oh, they made little bonus tiles. put that there let me get a bonus tile for the bag basically made four different flavors of bonus tiles and then so they're random like this one has two bonus tiles there that's the bonus tile symbol there and we've got two bonus tiles here I've got you know our meep our meeple tokens to show player order and then we've got baby meeple, meeple tokens that are smaller, you see. So that's to show children. Uh, I've got check marks for doing um, tasks. So we're going to look at tasks, or not tasks, uh, contracts. And let's see if we've got 30 minutes worth of content. I've got a lot more than 30 minutes worth of content, but let's try to squeeze it. So what's going to happen is here's in this game. Here's all the contracts that are available. Um, on this import export, it doesn't need to have that token there. So we'll just remember that this token is the cost, and that cost is related to glass. And here's the glass section. The glass is gray. Uh, basically, there's three types of flavors of glass. There's light pink, a medium pink, and a darker pink. So those are the flavors of glass or type styles of glass. What I want to do is work on this a little bit. What I would like to do is maybe that, 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 and then we'd have some more sections here. So let's build that real quick. Because that's what I was thinking about today while I was at work. Obviously, it's going to need a lot of work, but... Um, for right now, work in progress. Let me find. There we go. Do that. Um, let's make this mall bigger. So what we're gonna do is move that away. Move that over here. Oops. Move all of that mess over there. We're going to move a copy of that stuff over here. We'll take that key off of there. We'll add these three here. We'll unhide that. Make this more bigger. Put this stuff in that corner like we were doing. I don't remember why we have that there. I guess that's to show that sad faces go that way. All right, so we'll do that. Obviously, this is not perfect. Obviously, it's going to change. I always say stuff like that. I mean, on one hand, I want to give you the impression that I know what I'm doing. But on the other hand, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing the... I'm just building stuff and playing with it. And... Uh, initial ideas will give way to real ideas or maybe I'll make these ideas better oops we don't want to do that we'll do this we want to give it a unique name do that cool so let's replace this one update yes okay so we're gonna start it off where it has we'll have the choice of three cubes and then a sad face and then two more sad faces so something like that let's make sure there's nothing under there okay cool Hey, baby. Sarah. Let's see. Then we're going to go 
here. I will mirror what it looks like. Sad faces everywhere. Type something here. Try to be cute. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So many sad faces. Welcome to my life. That's what I do is I make a bunch of sad faces. I make happy faces sad. That's my job. Do, do, do. And then we wanted three down here. And why is that acting weird? Let's see. We've got a dog that's acting crazy down there. All right, so if that is our player boards, this is going to be the blue player. This is which traditionally I guess is going to be Sarah and I'm the yellow player we'll see how this goes okay so one of the things we want to do is make it where we can buy an action as an initial play or we can buy a tile which I haven't made the tiles yet or we can remove two sad faces or gain two cubes or maybe we'll gain one cube I don't know it's kind of opening moves I want to look at okay so this is um, for this thing to move up and down to actually use it as an action this will have to be removed uh, when we add sad faces we can add them to any place that doesn't have a sad face but where sad faces can go so these places um, when we get cubes also we can add them to any place it's open that looks like a, a hexagon on our board but remember that if we add it to a place where above I mean there's a thing above or below it'll be stuck so let me lock that down there lock that lock that down there and let's say these are the contracts okay so this is tough because um, I think it would be hard for people to know what the hell to do. So I'm going to go as a first player and I, I'm yellow. I'm first player here I'm trying to figure out how to play this game. I've got three actions, two of which can be green or purple. This action is a universal action. Let me pull it up. It's got four different colors on it. Oh, let me turn it to the other side. My bad. So let's show it. There it is right there. See, it has four different colors. That shows it can be played in the four different areas. Any action can be played in the gray areas. Uh, this one's uh, purple and and green, so it can only be played in the purple and green section. When you do an action, you flip this over. These tell you where you're acting. So you're acting here, 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 or in the two gray areas. Uh, I guess the contract area is going to be gray, and there's several other things, but mainly uh, the colored areas, these areas that are specific to types of actions, the actions universally can act everywhere else, but in these certain areas, they only can be of that color. So besides the areas, you have little regions within that area, or little areas within the areas. I don't know what we're going to call them. Um... So we'll look at this thing. If you can see, there's like little cubes by e by the beginning of each of these little gray things. Those cubes say that what it takes to to activate that little portion of that green area. Uh, if you call this the green realm, you're in a area within that realm. I guess I don't know. We'll figure out what we're gonna name it at some point. If, I don't care about names. Screw names. Um, so, let me show you a contract. Here's a contract. It costs a cube of any color. That's that gray corner. 
um, it wants it shows a list of things that it wants the check marks are the colors of stuff that it wants and on the other side are the bonuses that it gives for you doing that so let's say if my goal is to get this sad face removed let's say that's what I want to do okay so I'm gonna look at this one is gonna cost two cubes because the the contract costs two cubes at the top every check mark that you put on it will give you a bonus if it's near like next to a bonus so this one would be a way for it would be an exchange of two cubes to remove one sad face if I did this one I would get this one here if I do a red good I mean a red agave it'll give me a removal of a sad face it costs nothing to do it and if I could figure out how to put it in the autoclave I would get that other bonus so let's do that if I wanted to remove one sad face that would cost me one of these tokens and one of these cubes to remove one sad face and that would give me an if I remove this sad face it would give me uh, the ability to use purple I mean a blue in order to make this happen, whoops, this happen, I need to make red. Red over here. The problem is it's in this green section, and I don't have a green cube. Um, these are, We would have chosen the, co the colors of cubes. It would have all been different. Basically, we're going to choose one cube that we wouldn't have, and that, for some reason, yellow decided not to pick any green, and that's where they fucked up. So, is there any other way to do it? to make two happy faces so this was one way is there another this one costs two cubes to do it of the contracts that are out there these are the two ways unfortunately for these to move to the green section is it's gonna take a lot of actions to do it my best bet might be to start this contract this one right here to make tequila silver so let's say let's just do it because that's what we want to do we want to make tequila silver this is also going to dictate the way the rest of the game are these contracts the silver resposado we're going to change the color of them eventually but these three are what the game starts with. These, the Resposado tequila and the Añejo are going to be made the exact same way the silver is, except the aging process has to be different. And that's why if you look at the bottom, the second to the bottom line of stuff, you'll see that this one has a check on the white, which is the silver part. This one has a check on the very back part. That's not right. Now, so I need to redo that card. It should be in the middle there. Instead of being in the Añejo part, it should be in the middle, which is the Resposado part. So let me fix that card real quick, since I know it needs to be fixed. One sec. Resposado. Not there. Imports, contracts, is it here? Nope. Not there. Maybe it's here. Resposado, okay. So we need to move this to there. Now we have our Resposado, which otherwise means rested, rested tequila. Oops. Something didn't go right. There we go. Now we have the shading. Go here. Not a GIF. We need to save it as a JPEG. 
JPEG saved. Do, 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 do. All right, so we'll change this first Posado. We'll fix it real quick. Posado. Let's go ahead and save this state of the game. Save. All right, here we go. Okay, so these two cannot be made until this one is made. The part that sucks about this is that I'm going to have to use several action. It's going to cost me two cubes to do it plus a cube over here. Well, if I'm going to use three freaking cubes to do it, I might as I could use two instead and not do this thing. Let's go ahead and do this one then. Okay, so to start this thing, let's say ongoing contracts will just place them down here in this area. Okay. So we're going to start this contract. To start that contract, we need to start it off by either paying in this corner, which we don't have a payment. Now we need it to uh we need a tequila uh, agave. Okay, so to do this, it wants a high sugar content, in other words, red. When I look over here, to make red, the easiest would be this. The problem though, it needs a green to start it. I don't have a green cube. I'm the yellow player. I'm going first and I have a green cube. But remember, I can turn one of these in. So I'm going to use this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of these, flip it over. I'm activating the green area. So I'm going to be playing in the green area. Now, instead of using a cube, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to use that as a gray cube because that's what this line right here says I can do. I can always use an action token as an area cube so I'll use the action token to harvest in the green sections this means I can activate this is green and this is green both of them I have access to I'm only doing one action right now I could do a second green action by flipping this one over but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this okay so this is the first contract. I've got an agave that is high sugar content, which means it's got a high brick count. Okay, this from there goes to here. It just goes there. I need to put a number on our green one or something. It goes to there. And then I get the little A. That's our agave. I go here. To show that this contract is that they're both the same thing also I need to put a check mark on the check mark now let's say if I didn't make it the right con sugar content let's say if I if I fudged it up and I did the wrong one like that then I would get a sad face I would the minimum amount of sad when this contract completes I would get sad faces the minimum amount of sad faces you can get is two. So in other words, you can't get one and the amount of sad faces you get is equal to the amount of negative things that you put on that contract. So in this case, uh, I would have fudged up, but I didn't. I did red high sugar content. So that check mark and this check mark lines up. I get this bonus, which is remove a sad face. I'm going to remove a sad face. Boom. Sad face removed. Okay. Kind of what I wanted to do. Now blue goes. Unfortunately, there's no tiles to buy because if there was tiles to buy, then I would uh, collect money and try to buy them. Here's I can get a dollar by replanting this one. I'll show how that works in a minute. But right now, oh. This little dude 
says in between players turn so my player turn ended this one goes here this little one this little icon here okay so this icon player turns this icon round a end of my player turn this moved and there would be other ones that moved but they don't get to move okay so opponent they go what do they want to do if they replant this thing they could get a dollar which allow them to buy a tile later if they if they had the cubes to turn the to make this go to the autoclave they could get a cube the unfortunate thing about well the good thing about that on one end is they would get to rem, they would get that that and that cube that seems totally worth it so they're going to finish this contract let's see if they can so they need one of these for the purple area so they'll activate the purple area they need to go for one action they'll need two actions there's two actions which would be this action and that action wait okay so this action is there this action is there they need a purple cube which they don't have unfortunately and then they'll need a blue cube which they do have except that it's by this unhappy face and then they'll need a green one. Oh, this contract needs. I made this contract wrong. It needs a water content on there. Well, I gotta remember to do that. Well, that contract's not gonna get finished anyway. So, what else can they do? They could. These exports I gotta redo. Um, let's see this import export. If they started this, that would put one here. But they do have a green. They don't have. It would take three actions, which they have. But the blue one is stuck under the sad face. Problem. They could plant that for a dollar. Um, let's look at the contracts. That contract would at least be two sad faces. I mean, it would remove one sad face and allow them the next go around. They could just prepare tequila. So let's say they activated the green area. And they did one action to harvest. And then one action to plant. And that would remove a sad face. That would take two of these to do that. And that would have access to the red and the it would be nice to have that to go ahead and have that and be able to do if I could get that and remove a sad face that would be great but that would take a miracle that might take all three actions to do that no hmm this one but that would take an autoclave so that would be difficult that one also wants an autoclave hmm we could start this one I 
don't know. What's this contract? That's actually a good one. So we're going to try to start this contract. This one has all kinds of bonuses on it. It's going to cost one. We need the green for that. So we'll use a red to buy it. That means that we're going to put a red here. And then we choose the glass. It makes sense to choose the glass that it needs. And it goes there. So we bought the contract. Now I can pay another one to get it. Make it okay. So I forgot to put the. Uh, I've got to figure out how to put bonuses on here. Still hadn't figured that out yet. I'll figure that out later. In other words, you know, we'd put a bonus on here and then a bonus on here, so that whenever you do the action, sliding this glass and getting it ready, you would get bonuses for it. But I still need to. I haven't got that far yet. So we got the glass ready. It's going to cost a red cube every time we want to move it. So I guess we could do that. We'll put one bonus here and one bonus there to have it move. If I had another red, I could move it and get that bonus. So what I could do here is I need, I'll activate the green section and use a green cube so we're green action green cube to get in this green area once which is to move it and I have to use a second action to go ahead and harvest it flip this over and that gives us a red which will put this here a B get the matching B put that here and that gives us the red that we wanted that gives us one of these this token here which is one of these okay so I can place this somewhere where do I want to place it Somewhere good. We'll place this here in this green section we're still here because we're we've activated green and we use that and we can still do another action so we're going to we're gonna go ahead no yeah fuck it we're gonna go ahead and do another action with this one in the green section so that's we use that as a green action and go ahead and plant this one plant it which gives minus the happy face. So this happy face is gone. So that's what their crap looks like. All right, back to this player. This player has one action and three cubes they can use. Oh, when that player turn ended, that ends around this one. Actually, it's going back and forth. No, so that that doesn't move. That stays right there. Now, they need a green, a blue, this is not going to happen, to make that go down there. This B one needs the same. Without having that Got one action here. 
and three cubes. We might as well is one of these possible? It is, so we might as well do it. Okay, so yeah, that'll give us two bonuses. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to activate the green area. Is that right? Yeah, we'll activate the green area, which means we're here. We're gonna do this contract. Wait, before we activate the green area, we're gonna do that contract. That contract is gonna cost us two. So we're gonna do purple and blue. We're gonna choose the same glass style as this one did to make it easier on ourselves. Then we'll also put the bonuses here. All right, now we're gonna activate the green area, which means we're here. We're gonna act we have one action in green we're going to do it in the red section and we're going to go ahead and harvest we'll harvest and that harvest is going to be c which will place that there let's get the little c little c is here we're harvested in yellow so that means this one goes here, which is a removal of Abbey Base. We'll remove that happy face. And then this is being placed on this bonus. So I haven't removed these two bonuses go back in the bag. That bonus is a cube, so obviously they want a purple cube. When they get a cube, they can put it on the top. It doesn't have so many. They can put it wherever they want to. He puts it on the. Oh no, not the purple. We want green. Alrighty then. And then that would be the end of his turn. And then he goes here. They can't do anything without without actions. He can't do anything without actions. So the round is over. Okay, so let's do round stuff. So round stuff here. This one gets planted. This one's going to go back to the bag. This one gets planted. That goes back to the bag. This one moves. This one moves. These are all back in the bag. Don't forget to shuffle. Okay, this one goes to one, this one goes to two, this one goes to three. Now these are all interchangeable. They can move, like this one can go jump into here, or jump here, or jump here, and this one can jump over here. But that takes, it's like, it's more expensive to do that. At least in, in my head right now they can. I don't know, maybe they can't. We'll find out as we start continuing the design all right that was into the round that was all done these are the things uh, no new contracts are put out players have to pull those out by they cost a, an action to do so this will go back up these get flipped back over let's go back up Let's get flip back over. All right, first player. Oh, this gets a new bonus on it. And we're good. Cool. Okay, C. 
to make C go all the way like that takes two actions or three actions to do it which would take all three actions there they'd all have to be purple and it would take one of these one of those I'll take all three of these to make this go autoclave and C which would be here okay and that would that would be three freaking bonuses no that would only be two bonuses because it wouldn't have the water unfortunately that sucks if I could figure out oh oh, oh yeah it would work okay so let's do it it would go they're gonna go ahead and get this one ready this A would take one action to get it. It would go here and an action for in blue and then in green. I need to fix these. Son of a bitch. To go further, I need to fix these exports. Let's just pretend that I am not going to fix it for now. This one takes purple action or to go to here this would be B it needs to go down here for an action so it would take that that and that and it would be for this is actually better than this this one is so let's do that okay this B one has to go here so it's gonna take a blue and a purple action and that brings it to here then we need a purple and a purple action to bring it to here we need a green action a green thing to move it and then that'll move it here So I see a problem with the game there is that in if we associate that with that, this associates that with that, and this associates that with that, that means this bonus is still here because there's no water. This goes here, but we do get this. Okay, and that makes this thing happen. So it does two things. We have this, which is one of these, and then a new cube. Um, the new cube, we're going to go ahead and make that red for now. No. Yeah, we'll make it red for now. And then this, we need to add the water, and it needs to be this kind of water, which is purple water. So we'll put this here with this purple. That bonus stays there. This goes into the bag. Uh, this is here. No actions left. That was that. It's already done. I already got that bonus. So yeah, that's that. Their turn. If they had a purple, they could get this on the right water content. They don't have a purple. Can they make a purple? Good question. To make a purple, they need... Oh, this is showing a bonus now. Alright, so if we harvested this one, that could give us the purple that we need, and we'd put the purple here, but we need to get rid of a sad face. So... In order to do that, the question is, does any of these need a green? Oh, this is what we're looking at. But those aren't sad face ones. That's I'd have to do both of those. How to remove sad faces? So we need to we need to do two things. We need to get a purple cube. That's not a problem. What was I doing a purple cube for? 
I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm already confused. Uh, why did I need a purple cube? Need a purple cube for that. So that I can go ahead and get this. So we'll use this for a purple action. And we'll use this for a purple cube. And that brings the right water content to this thing. Boom, that's a remove a sad face. So they'll remove a sad face. This player's turn. They have no actions left here, but what they can do is they can flip this and bring that up and not do anything. Okay, so they're not going to do anything. This player, I can activate the red section, and we need to put this into a copper still so we can go green, purple. Damn it. Why is this so fucking hard? Ugh. To do that, we need, I can put it into a silver steel, but I cannot put it in the copper steel. So to do this into the copper steel, oh, that was the uh, remove a sad face, which we, we need to put that in the back and shuffle. Uh, yeah, we need, this is back in, oh, no, no, this is that one. Okay, so we can't do that because we don't have the cubes. We've got one action. Ah, uh, we could... Here we go. I got it. We'll do these three down to make, to make a, an action. We'll choose... The red, blue, no, we don't have to choose red, blue, but we're going to. We'll choose a red, blue one and place, we've got a red, blue one and it costs those three, their turn, then back to my turn. Flip this to pull up the green. Okay, so this to activate the red section, which is the, the still. And then we're going to choose this one to make a purple cube because we can make a universal cube. And then we'll slide this down for the green and we'll put this into the copper still, the copper pot. And that is going to give us another one here, which is going to give us one of these. And we'll use one of these, we'll put it in the freaking red. Sweet. That's the end of the round and the end of an era. Oh, whenever their turn ended, this slid forward and then this slides forward. <sighs> Screwed up. All right. It's already doing my brain in. It's not even a real game yet. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Algabe moves, Algabe moves, boom, 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 boom. Uh, two new bonuses here. At the end of that Joker's turn, it would have moved one. And that's what it looks like. Oh, at the end of the first round, I think it, uh, these would be gone. And that's the end of the second round. This would be here, and these would be gone. So those are missed opportunities. Okay, those are up, these need to be up. All right, yellow goes. Okay, the 
get these last things to make this happen so they don't get totally spawned on all the stuffs. All right. The problem here is by finishing this one off, well, they don't want to do this because that they don't have the happy faces for it. The sad faces removed for it. They need to do something to remove sad faces. They could try to do this thing and then man that's hard. So these are like that. This one is C, where's C? We could do C, it would take one action and a green and then we can choose whatever color we want and that'd give us a cube again but oh, fuck we need to remove a sad face okay no easy way to do sad faces here all the sad faces are gone. So they're going to pay one purple. Hopefully that's not a mistake. To draw from this deck. It's not too bad though. To make that work, they need... The import is going to be that, and it had to go to this center section, which they can make that happen. The problem is, is the bonuses are down arrows. They need happy face or sad face arrows. So they might just harvest. If they harvested red, is there anything that would take red no but if they harvested red oh this one needs a bonus if they harvest it and this one needs a bonus that would remove a sad face they need to remove sad faces They finished A here, which would take a blue and a green and a water type, and that would remove shit tons of sad faces. So I think I'm at a standstill, sort of. I know probably none of this makes sense if you're watching it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is fix the export cards to have a water. And I could do that on camera, I guess. I already, I, I'm starting to see glimpses of what this game's going to be. It's going to be fucking hard. Lots of fucking planning and lots of screwage and screwing yourself up mostly. Does it work? Sort of. Is it balanced? Fuck no. Do you hate asking and answering your own questions? Fuck yes. Okay, those are the export cards. And the problem on the export cards is we don't have water. And they all need to have water. that and that
kind of like what I've done, by the way, in the game. Let's go here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water there so you know that it has to have water but we're gonna make it of non important type and then it exports so that's gonna allow the player to just to do any cube but if they've got to do another cube to, to make this contract go away course this isn't perfect because I don't give a shit about being perfect not at this stage if I was smart I would freaking na number all the cards because that's like one of my my things that's my uh, bullshit answer to the question of what would you tell a new designer what's the best uh, advice you could give my advice is number all your freaking cards number every asset just put a number on it unique number and you'll be fucking happy for it in the end because let's say you're talking to somebody you could just give them a number just say hey we need to fix asset number 10 or card number 15 needs to be fixed. Or card number 15 has a problem. Or the artwork on card number 15 is wrong. It's so fucking easy. And you can do that from the very beginning when you first start making assets. But did I do that? Hell no. Should I have done it? Hell yeah. Do you like answering your own questions? Hell no. Now I'm fixing it so that the white overlay that's semi-opaque also covers, it's not supposed to cover that though, that's where I'm having a problem. There we go. I think this game is going to be pretty cool and I hope I have it ready for this weekend so that people can play it. I'd like Sarah to play it and I'd like Lyndon to play it or whoever. Um, I'd like to have a working version that's not as confusing as it is. There's a couple of interesting things I need to fix. Let's go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and see if these save as JPEGs they do sweet so let's go ahead and we'll delete those delete that save that one let's 
save that one. There was an interesting tweet today about heavy games being thinky deep heavy games would be are basically unpublishable and I had to say if you mean not gonna make you a million dollars I would agree but if you mean if you really mean non-publishable I would disagree I would say publish it yourself and a really good game put in the in the battle for ideas will do well and don't just like tell yourself that what you've built is good um, like first know what you would consider would be good not from the design that you made but like just in general like I want a thinky game that has high conflict with um lots of strategy very little tactics whatever you know you want to judge yourself on making and then strive to make that thing as best as you can and if there's people who recognize it has those qualities you were trying to put in the game then maybe you could say you did a good job and let's say there's a very limited audience for that it doesn't matter publish uh, publish it but you don't have to uh, publish it through a mainstream place. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't care if... I mean, I do and I don't. I want my games published, and I want them to be liked, but I don't care if they're liked by the mainstream. I care that they're liked by people that I would call my peers people who are into different games like that's really important to them is that something's really different I want to stand out in that crowd I want them you know to say if they see something I've made and say oh yeah obviously Mo made that that's different being unique is important to me but I come from the era of we had this thing against, against posers I've said this before we, like he would get bullied for not being different I think nowadays it's a little I mean there was different and there was two different you'd get bullied for one or the other but Authenticity was important, but they considered authenticity to also include um, originality. And I think now you can be authentic, but not original. But that's just my take. I don't know that to be true. Four went on five. And I'm just rambling anyway. Six. Six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
So the other thing I wanted to look at, so let me get these contracts together. Those contracts, these are the partial contracts or the contracts you would use to basically do the work for another company. Like you wouldn't do the tequila from the beginning to the end, you're just doing a partial portion of the tequila like we're just giving you the uh, the fruit and we're getting it ready for you. That would be those contracts. And the amount of contracts we use is the amount of players plus one. That one's pretty cool because of all the sad faces that you get to take off. All right, those are all cool ones. There's that. I need to fi figure out this portion. I gotta make the tiles. So let me make the tiles for these. Because here's the thing there's the game one, which is gray. We need to have the a target one, and I'll put the targets on here, and then we'll put the targets and we'll put them in squares. Let's see how good I am at making targets. We'll make target tokens. Target. Target token. We'll do that. Bullseye is red, I believe. Put this in the center. If I can grab it. Close enough. I don't know. Close enough. One underneath it will be white. Then I'll go blue. Then I'll go black. Ten, twenty, and forty. Kind of like a target, kind of not. All right, we'll call that our target token. I don't like that forty, so let's go thirty. Cool, it's good enough. Those are all strokes, so let's go ahead and outline strokes. It's big. Save it. Save it as a target. Get it, bro. Get one of these tokens, paste it. Okay, let's see the thickness is fine. Let's see what it'll look like on here. Hmm, I would like that thinner. What can we do? That's fine. Oops, not like that. Okay, these are the targets. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
we need six for that one, six for that one, and six for that one. All right, targets, targets. Let's go ahead and save this and then call it. Overwrite. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop there. We're going to go ahead and, and end this. Make sure that that's in. Da, 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 da. Close that. Turn this damn thing off. And tomorrow, we'll see.